just uh, you've been you've just been a joy to talk to. You've been great. Yeah, likewise, man. I wish I could have asked you more questions because I have a lot of. I'm curious about. Congratulations on the New York Times article. Thank I'm you. Very curious about your whole. It's it's whole it's on it's on it? it's unorthodox. There there's there are explicit. Um, you know, sort of uh, uh, things in my Twitch contract that forbid guests from asking me any questions yeah, whatsoever. I, I could yeah. be banned. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, damn. My, 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 my thing went off over here. That was exciting. That, was that Bezos? Was that Bezos? <laughs> that, was, that, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was that was my stream deck just getting hot and heavy at the yeah. prospect of me breaking the rules. That was Twitch coming in and saying, you better not break the rules. Um, okay. But I, 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 w I will allow you to break the rules this one time. I think because okay. it's Robin Pecknell, they'll they'll let it slide. If you, if you wanted to throw in it, if you wanted to throw a question at me, you're you're allowed to. Okay, I would love to ask you some questions. Oh boy, how? Okay, none how, who none who bestank related, please. No who bestank so, questions. So if you okay, first question: If you okay. said light at eight, how come okay. the eight on the screen looked like a seven? I, I said strong seven to a light eight. I said both. I said both. It's a, it's a slide. It's a sliding scale. On some days it's one. On some days it's the other. It, there's 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 maneuverability there because okay. you know there there might be a bit of a factor where I feel like that, I, I feel I feel this need. I feel I feel this one way on the record, but maybe toward the end of the year uh, it might end up on my year end list in about the, sort of like the same section that a lot of maybe other uh, records of that same rating have have ended up. You know, it, it. it happens. Got it. Yeah. That was a that was a joke question. I am curious though, how much time? No, it's 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 good to prod about that. <laughs> how do you um, how do you segment your day in terms of like time spent listening to music and then time spent writing about it or or recording the videos? Yeah, um, I try to get uh, like four to six listens of every album that I'm talking about. Um, and now that I've been doing my thing on Twitch. Uh, there's, you know, an even weirder, more interesting factor thrown into the mix because uh, a lot of the records I'm reviewing, I will listen to them on sort of New Music Friday. So people mm -hmm. actually see my first reaction, though the right. Flea Foxes record, I couldn't help myself. As soon as that was out, I'm like, I'm listening to that shit. I'm not waiting until Friday. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, like a lot of people sort of see my first reactions to to things and you know it's it's starting it's, you know i'm feeling it out but i'm kind of waiting for the eventuality that um there will be a, a broadcast where the first time i listen to something i think it's shit or the first time i listen to something and people are watching i think it's amazing mm -hmm. and then i'll have to like dial it back a little bit and all right. of a sudden you know there'll be the inevitable reaction of like hey you said it was the greatest thing in the world so you know i i, I try i try to watch my tongue a little bit you know now that that's yeah. Uh, sort of the thing where I'm bringing people in on my listening experience the first time around. But, um, you know, it, it, my, my day every day is like a mosh pit, you know, in, in terms of like the time I get to shoot a video at a certain time or say a certain thing or record a certain thing or, uh, you know, especially on the Fantano channel where what I'm talking about day to day will depend entirely on like what news has just come out that day. You sure. know, or some random in bit of industry something, or if like, I don't know, Kanye had an epileptic fit on Twitter or whatever, yeah, um, yeah. uh, or an apoplectic fit is probably the word I was looking for. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, my day every day is a mosh pit, but I do try to make sure that I'm getting those listens in, whether they are in the morning, whether they are over my lunch hour or whether they're like peak night listening hours, <laughs> For me, is like eight to midnight or some shit, um, mm -hmm. and and you know, no matter how many listens that takes, I'm searching for what it you know whether or not I'm getting enjoyment out of it, and what exactly about it I am enjoying or not enjoying, mm -hmm. um, and and also just trying to find some basic information because to to let the listeners in on from what I'm observing because I'm just trying to let people get a bit of a heads up because I feel like the, the music review game these days is all curation and recommendation because obviously like people are streaming shit for free left and right, but mm -hmm. really the decision that's being made by the listener and, and, uh, by the, you know, the critic as well as, uh, to say this is, and this is not worth your time, you know, mm -hmm. like, let me just drive you to this since I could drive you to anything, you know, I'm not mm -hmm. telling you what is worth your $15 if you pull it out of your pocket. I'm telling you what's worth your 45 minutes. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, just trying to, between those listening sessions, uh, get my writing in. You know, the shooting process usually takes 45 minutes to an hour, 
depending mm-hmm. on how much I have to say. Like I'll oh. have most times um, a half an hour of footage. And that's of course like everything I say and every time I'm fucking up what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Um, so then that'll get pared down to six to 11 minutes. Um, uh, you know, though sometimes, you know, we'll do a bit of a troll review or we'll, you know, we'll meme it, we'll joke around and do some, some silly bullshit like that. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a process. And, uh, you know, at, at this point it's kind of like I'm working on an assembly line in a way. Um, but you know, not to sort of make it sound cold hearted or mean or sort of like emotionless, mm-hmm. but, um, you know, I, I kind of have to observe it that way in, in, in a sense, because if I'm trying to reinvent the wheel every single time I'm listening to a new album, I wouldn't get fucking anything done. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know, there are certain genres of music that you, what, what, what uh, that you appreciate more intellectually than you do fi- emotionally or physically and, yeah. and vice versa. Yeah. I mean, I, I, th- I think more intellectually uh, sort of like uh, substantive music and music that's maybe more visceral, um, you know, I, I don't think either is mutually exclusive. You can make music yeah. that, that is both. But honestly, I, I think both have, in my mind, both have equal kind of playing, you know? Um, yeah. I think both have equal kind of personal, for, for me, personal and cultural significance. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily weigh um, in, in the abstract one over the other. Um, so, uh, um, but but yeah, you know, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a separation. It's a dynamic. How would you say you enjoyed Hundred Gex the first time you heard it? More viscerally, or more intellectually, or some combination of both? I would say I would say in the case of that record, it's some combination of both. Um, yeah. You know, because yeah, it's a very visceral listen, but simultaneously, like the clash of sounds and influences on that album is kind of mind blowing and ridiculous. For sure. And um, yeah. as visceral as it is, <laughs> like there are a lot of subversive elements to the music and, and even, even humorous elements to the music too, you know, consciously humorous elements. And, and I, I see sort of, I, I personally, I see injecting humor into music as kind of a very intellectual pursuit. Um, it's not, it's not usually done well, um, at least sort of in a artistic sense. I mean, most music that tries to do that, we just sort of view as comedy music and we shut it down and throw it out, which, I mean, that's kind of another conversation, people deriding music. That's, upbeat and joyous or happy and people deriding music that might be a little funny, you know, or might yeah. be trying to make a satirical observation or something. But, um, sure. you know, there's, there's that there's records that for me in, in a way are purely heady. I would say mm-hmm. like maybe the new, the, maybe the past couple of Mount Erie records are kind of like that. Very heady, very emotional. On the flip side, you could say like walk a flock of flames, flock of Ellie is just like pure visceral, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. um, yeah. or even like an idols album, you know, yeah. um, though their music is like very politically charged, um, you know, or, um, and there's something certainly to chew over in terms of what they're saying. Like it's really kind yeah. of the energy at the end of the day, or even like a, let, let's say like a really good battles album or something, because obviously, yeah. you know, it's instrumental music. So there's not a whole lot like lyrically or conceptually to chew over. And at the end of the day, it's really about like the grooves and the bright sensations of the guitars and the synths that, you know, yeah. kind of be the synapses that's firing off in your head. So, yeah. um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of way to go. There's a lot of ways to go emotional there's a lot of ways to go cerebral there's a lot of ways to go just physical and cathartic and yeah. um and there's a lot of ways to combine the two too um yeah. you know I, I mean for example i think you did that on on the new record you know i, I think that there are some very visceral very rocking and grooving moments on the lp and there's also lyrically and emotionally a lot to chew over as well yeah sweet um thank you um what, what was my other question do you th- feel like because you're reviewing every genre of music, basically. I, 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 would, I would say it's pretty limited to whatever I would kind of categorize as popular music. Popular you know? music, yeah. Because I'm, I'm not reviewing a lot of classical stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not like every year there's like, I'm sure there's some music concrete records I'm not covering. You know sure, what I mean? Yeah, um, there, yeah there, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff that I'm, that I know I'm, I'm out of my depth with, my depth with, or I'm just like, I'm just personally not seeing excitement 
with it, even though I may be familiar with it and sort of like have, you know, have an operational knowledge of what it is. I might not get a lot out of it personally as a genre or a scene. Um, So, you know, I I might just avoid it because I don't feel like my negative commentary on it would really matter all that much. But Uh um, but I try to cover what bases I can and what makes sense in terms of pop music, rock music, hip hop, metal, singer songwriters, folk, various strains of electronic music, various strains of experimental music, some jazz here and there. I, I try to mix it up. Okay, one other question. How much would you say your tastes align with the average user of 4chan slash Moo? Yeah, um, I would say it's. I would say at one point probably quite a bit. I'm not sure now. You know, mm-hmm. I, I I would say like in the early 2010s, in the late uh-huh. 2000s, probably a lot because that was sort of like a prime time where I was posted about on that board quite a bit. You know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. like ar- around the point of like Radiohead's King of Limbs coming out and like, you know, several yeah. years after I was like being posted on that board, like insane levels. Yeah. Um, and you know, if, if I ever score an album, like a, a super high score or something like that, like sometimes it becomes a discussion on the board or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, lately I'm not like completely aware of what, uh, you know, a lot of people over there are listening to, but I, I imagine it has to be on, on, on some level, probably true, you know, but, the, but the thing is like, you also have to understand, like during that time where they were talking about me the most, like a lot of the internet's kind of musical discussion was going on there. Like yeah. nowadays, much of that is offloaded onto social media. Much of that is offloaded onto Reddit. Much right. of that is off and you know, hundreds of various subreddits, Um, you know, a lot of that is offloaded onto other sections of the internet where people just wanted something more specific, wanted something more manageable, wanted something more community oriented or wanted something less toxic to exist in, you know, as far as like a music community, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I, I, I think there was a point in time where, you know, that board and kind of the music taste of that board was, um, significant. My taste was reflective of it. Um, yeah. but, but I, I, th- I think it's just kind of like, you know, it's, it's become a drop in the bucket at this point, you know, and, and that's by no fault or sort of like any kind of disrespect or shade I'm trying to throw or anything like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's just the internet landscape has changed, you know, yeah. there are multiple places to sort of have robust musical conversations or sort of find obscure stuff or really good yeah. recommendations of something. Um, and again, you know, sort of like strike up a bit more of a community as opposed to, you know, at least when, the, you know, that span of time that I was talking about where I was being referenced, um, you know, the most, like you're talking about there being a culture on the board, which might still be the case today where it's, um, you know, by the community, like disincentivized to identify yourself or name yourself or sort of like have a username as it were. It's like, everybody's got to be anonymous or whatever. And that way there's like no real, real chance of creating any kind of familiarity where when you look at social media now, people like having their mutuals. Oh, I like going on Twitter and seeing my friends who I talk with about with hip hop all the time. You know, it's like people do, you know, music and community, uh, and, and not that there isn't any community on on that board. There certainly is to an extent. And there are lots of people who meet off that board to kind of create their own little, you know, MU communities. Um, yeah. But, uh, uh, you know, people looking directly for that because music and community is so directly linked. Uh, there there are mm-hmm. just other places to do it and they just do it other places. And uh, oh, yep. Discord, too. Like the Fleet Foxes yeah. Discord, which we've talked about killer, extensively. Killer, the much kill- superior to 4chan slash mu in every way and soup and, and superior i'm sure to the fjm uh discord too the F, <laughs> just there's there's oh, no man. there's no I, I, I'm, waiting on, I'm waiting on that invite you're waiting on that and there's there's just no meme juice there. coming out of there there's no meme juice there i'm sure there's plenty of memes there, pro- there probably don't speak, don't speak ill of the fjm discord you know. <laughs> i'm sure it's wonderful but yeah, with the MU, the Moo thing, it was like, I feel like I didn't really understand what it was. And then it was like this whole category of like, you know, like just stuff that you would think about, like Captain Beefheart or these kind of, um, you know, just albums that I knew about from my record head friends when I was a teenager. Um, and I thought of them as just like these weird pinnacles of, of a certain aesthetic. I feel like that is, I, I started seeing all that stuff on, 4chan and then it just gave that whole kind that whole music a different flavor i don't know enough about 
the chans to I just you know certain certain implicate just chan wide implications that you know yeah I, I i i i think i get what you're getting at like you know back yeah. in the day when you'd see those pictorials of all the album covers and it's like pet sounds in the court of the crimson king captain yeah. Beefheart, and it's you know just like all those ones you know it's a, a lot of it it's it's almost like rolling stone core but a little bit edgier you yeah, know yeah, yeah. Um, yeah and and yeah you know like back in the day i heard a lot of those records but honestly during that time when i was most <clears throat> familiar with the board I, I i was going through a tom waits phase i was yeah. going through a bob dylan phase and you know there's little to no bob dylan in MU core no. Tom yeah. Waits phase, Bob Dylan phase, jazz phase, hardcore punk phase. Um, you know, I've, I've never been a huge trout mask replica freak. You know, I mean, it's, I love the oddity of the record and yeah. you know, I, I love, I actually love, um, you know, some of Don's other records. You know, I, I like, he's a uh, great painter and I yeah. like a lot of those records. Yeah. I, I like, um, uh, doc at the radar station quite a bit. Um, I think there are a lot of great tracks on lick my decals off. Uh, safe as milk is really cool too. Um, you know, and, and, and look, I mean, I, you know, I, I went one time to the third man records, uh, factory and, you know, they were just putting out the gigantic trout mask, you know, replica reissue that they did with the splattered vinyl and the tote bag and all the crazy cool extras. And they were like, Hey, do you want this? And I'm yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. And it's like, even though it's not one of my favorite albums of all time, it's, you know, still a piece of music history and I appreciate it. But, um, yeah. but yeah, you know, the, the, like I, I've, I, you know, I've, you know, also in the, in that same pictorial, you see Radiohead, 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 eh, you know, I, I think the most MU core, type albums that I, that I, that I genuine that I genuinely was like obsessed with was probably like, uh, Godspeed lift your antennas. But yeah. I mean, I, I found out about that from like a friend, you know, but, um, sure. but yeah, you know, I mean, there are some albums that, you know, were in like those pictures and were considered like core to the board that, um, yeah. that I, that I liked quite a bit, but, um, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it kind of dictated my favorites at the time. You know, I, I just yeah. thought it was funny to have, to, to sort of, uh, uh, for there to be a place where these kind of discussions are, are happening, you know? Yeah. I just liked it better when those records, fe I felt like you were hearing about them from some weird old guy in a record store and not some, I don't know, Pepe terrorist <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, it, yeah, it's, 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 you know, honestly, those general conversations never really like struck up a lot of interest with me like a lot of the time whenever there was you know the most exciting moments on that board for me when it was like share thread it's like a thousand media fire links and the whole thread is about a certain genre share yeah. thread jazz share thread scandinavian black metal every scandinavian black metal classic download all of it That's um cool. you know, that sort of shit um yeah. you know that and sort of like a um you know, ridiculous photoshops or edits of like album covers or that sort of shit. And oh my God, the obsession on that board with Animal Collective at the time, you, you couldn't escape <laughs> it. You couldn't fucking escape it. That's and crazy. you know, I, I, I like Animal Collective. I do. I've, I've just never been a mega fan, you know? Um, I, I think Sung Tongs is great. I think a lot of their records are great, but I've, mm -hmm. I've never been sort of like, evangelical about it to the point where I've like, I've loved a lot of the solo stuff. Like I, I almost yeah. like stop at the solo stuff and though, you know, I, I respect the solo stuff, but you know, I, I failed the transition over into that, um, in, in a lot of ways in terms of just personal enjoyment. But, um, but yeah, you know, there's, there's a, um, uh, you know, a lot of interesting sort of specific discussions on that board going on at the time. And, um, uh, but the general ones, I, I think, you know, um, we're, we're a little lowest common denominator in a way, but, uh, but again, if you want those specific conversations now, there are plenty of other places to have them. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ha hallelujah. Forever. Forever. You forever. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say that. You're going to get canceled. You're going to get canceled. Okay. Now. You're going to get canceled now. Please. I'm going to get doxxed. Just please. Bring it, please. Bring You're going to get doxxed, canceled, ah. and please, I need I need you around, okay? I need, I need you putting out more music. Protect okay? me. Please. Okay. Uh, every, chat, protect Robin, please. Please protect Robin. No. Oh. <laughs> Bad boys. Um, okay. Well, 
that is every question I had, and okay. thank you for for answering them. Thank you for thank you for throwing them at me. We'll we'll, we'll we might even make a, a separate video of this of this section where it's like Robin asks Anthony questions. Let's yeah, let's. Uh, I'm down. I, I can come up with more. We can make a series out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll 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 talk about that. We'll talk about that. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, do, we'll do a more robust co interview when the next record comes out. We'll do that. Perfect. Okay, sounds great. Cool. All right. You have a good awesome. one, man. Hey, you too. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you.